if you are someone who has been like, huh, we're not allowed to sing, we're not allowed to move around the room, we're not allowed to share things, which means we can't use instruments, what does that leave the elementary music teachers with? I've got the answer for you. It is chance. So if you cannot sing and you can't play instruments, you can't do all these things, chance are where it is at. You can still practice rhythm, you can still do movement, you can still do lots of fun things with chance. So today we're going to talk about some of my favorite chants for lower elementary. I already have a video about upper elementary chants, so if you would like to see that, you can click the link down below. And all of the chants for both upper and lower elementary are in a freebie, which I will also link down below. The freebie it contains all of the lyric sheets and then the rhythms that go along with it in regular and stick notation. So for every single thing we're talking about today, it will be in that file. So definitely click the link down below to grab that. And without further ado, let's talk Hop right on in. My first one, I was gonna say it might be my favorite, but I'm gonna stop myself because I'm probably gonna say that about all of them. But my first one is Hickory Dickory Dock. I love, 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 love this one, especially with second grade. I don't know why, I just think it's so much fun in second grade. And it's just a lot of fun. For this one, we have a movement that goes along with it. So I'm gonna cut to a video of me doing the movement so that you can see them. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock. All right, and then after that, I love to pull out the instruments. Obviously not this year, but I like to pull out the instruments and specifically I like to pull out the xylophones and have us keep the steady beat on that or have them practice going up and going down. We do like the beat. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory duck is how we normally do that. So we do the beat and then the up and the down. And yeah, so I love this one. I also specifically love hickory dickory duck because I always do my forte and piano unit with all songs about mice and songs about bears. So we do like hickory dickory duck, we do grizzly bear, I was gonna say grizzly bear, <laughs> grizzly bear, what do you see? Um, Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? We do the book, Bear Leo's the Bear. We do Grizzly Bear, the song. We do like all sorts of stuff, mouse mousey. I will leave a link to some blog posts and videos down below about those if you're interested in using any of those to teach porte and piano. And also this is included by the way, actually that video you just saw was for my virtual field trip to the forest to teach forte and piano, which has Hickory Dickory Dock as a part of it because it's all Bears and mice. So, Hickory Dickory Dock is number one. Number two is engine, engine number nine. Now, there's like two different versions of this, and so what I did is I just did both. And for this, we also have actions because everything is better with actions. If you haven't been around here very long, you'll learn quickly. We do actions for everything. So, my actions for engine, engine number nine are this we go engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. See it sparkle, see it shine. Engine, engine number nine. Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, do you get your money back? So that's engine, engine number nine. I love this one. So we usually do the um, movements and I used this to present rhythm this year to my first grader. So we talked about Ta and Titi and then we played the rhythm. We played the beat and talked about how those are different. We also um, like looked on the screen on the Google Slides resource that I will link below and looked at Ta and Titi up on the screen. We looked at the rhythm, we figured out the rhythm and I had them decode it and figure out what it was themselves and like this whole big thing. I also have a video all about that that I think is coming out like next week. So hit the subscribe button down below or if it's already out then go look for it. <laughs> um, anyway, so we do all of those things. And then in a perfect world, we would also use instruments. I did this on Zoom, so we obviously didn't. But um, before the instruments, we use our body percussion and do our legs for our TTs and then clap on top. So we do engine, engine number nine. Go boom, down Chicago line. Then we take that to the instrument. So we either do drums and do on the rim and then in the middle, or we use xylophones and I put it in pentatonic. They can play whatever they want and do engine, engine number nine. And we tap the sticks together on those quarter notes. If you want to learn more about engine, engine number nine, there is a video that is like about to come out or just came out. If it already came out, I'll link it. And if not, then it'll be out really, really soon. So be on the lookout for that and 
I will also leave the link to all the resources I have. We have like a Google Slides lesson and a game that goes with it and printables and like all the things. So check the link down below if you are wanting to use that in your classroom. The next one is Jack and Jill went up the hill. So this is, I feel like one everyone knows, but I'll tell you what it is. Anyway, it goes, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling out. For this one, we use it to work on going up and going down. And so we do Jack and Jill goes up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. And what we usually do with this is we grab the glockenspiels and we go up when they go up and then down and down again. And I usually have them practice and take turns so that everyone gets a chance to do that. And we're really working on that going up and going down. All right, so this next one is Wee Willy Winky. Now, I recently saw this notated on a website. Let me know in the comments, is this something that's supposed to be notated or like, is it supposed to have a melody? Is it a song or is it a chant? I don't know. I've always done it as a chant, so that's how we've done it but maybe it's a song i don't know we have actions for this one of course and so for this one we do we willy winky running through the town upstairs downstairs in his nightgown rapping at the window crying at the lock are your children in their bed for now it's eight o'clock so super simple and so much fun we do this as like a nice little warm-up at the beginning of class and it's really cute so that's pretty much it all right next up is two four six eight meet me at the garden gate so this one goes two Four, six, eight, meet me at the garden gate. If I'm late, please don't wait. Two, four, six, eight. Super, super simple and really fun. I like to use this one to practice rhythm, especially in the spring. Ooh, we might do this next time. We shall see, glad I read this. And there's a couple of different ways that we do this. Usually we do like a hand copying game and so we do, um, so the way I like to do it with my kids is we go pat our legs. So, and then we do double high fives. So we go two, four, six, eight. And then we clap the rhythm to our partners, on our partner's hands, meet me at the garden gate. And if I'm late, please don't wait. The kids circle around each other. And then on the last one, two, four, six, eight. So it'd go two, four, six, eight. Meet me at the garden gate. If I'm late, please don't wait. Two, four, six, eight. Easy peasy. If your kids can't touch, because I am filming this in 2021, and it is the year of crazy, then a different option would just be to do the same thing, almost the same thing. So two, four, six, eight. Meet me at the garden gate and then have them walk in a circle by themselves. If I'm late, please don't wait. Two, four, six, eight. Easy peasy. And a way that they can do it all by themselves. All right, next up is one to buckle my shoe. Now this one has a freebie, so I will leave the link to the freebie down below and you can grab that, but I love this one. It's so much fun. We like to do this and do surprise, surprise, some actions. So we just kind of act it out. So we do one, two, Buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Super, super simple and really cute. Then I like to take them over to the xylophones and we do this one with the numbers on the xylophone on pentatonic and then the rest of it sticks together. So it's like one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. And we practice that rhythm as well as just kind of doing two different things. Super fun and really simple. The next one is BB Bumblebee. This is another good ta and TT one and it goes B, B, Bumblebee. Stung a man upon his knee. Stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Now, obviously from the you are out, this is a out game. So usually you would do it in a circle and you would pass the beat around. I guess you could probably also do it as a duck, duck, goose, but I've always done it as you pass the beat around and as you pass the beat around it and whoever lands on it at the end is out. Um, there are a few different ways you can do this on Zoom. You can use a spinner. You can use where you just take your um, mouse and click on the different kids computers you can like b b bumblebee stunk a man upon his knee and then turn their camera off once they're out um lots of different ways you can do it however you want to do it 
you can do it. You could even turn this into freeze dance and do like, or study beat dance uh, or freeze study beat and like keep the beat while it's going. So B, B, or I declare that you are out. And then you freeze. And then if anybody moves, then they would be out. Like you can say, then the bee's gonna see you and it's gonna sting you. Except not that forcefully. All right, the next one is Queen, Queen, Caroline. So this one is really fun. It goes Queen, Queen, Caroline. Washed her hair with turpentine. Turpentine made it shine. Queen, Queen, Caroline. So this chant is super cute. Oh, this is also my last one, by the way. So this one is really cute. I had a podcast episode on Becca's Music Room, which you can find on pretty much any podcasting apps, and with Carissa Duncanson, and she shared her lesson with this. So she does Queen Queen Caroline, and then she switches it up and uses the book Hair Love. So if you don't know that book, it's super cute. I will leave a link down below. And so she does this chant. They do Hair Love, and then she changes the words, and let me make sure I'm going to get them right. So the way that she does it is Queen, Queen, Caroline, washed her hair in turpentine. Princess Zuri detangles her curlies. So Zuri's the girl in the book, which is why she did that. Um, with her permission, I did include this in my book, Virtual Music Lessons for Teaching Music Online. So that's why I was like, let me double check that I've got this right before I tell you wrong things. Um, so I will leave this link down below as well. It is available in paperback and an ebook form. So if you are interested in that, you can grab that. And that was the last of my chants. So those are a few of my favorite chants that I use with my kiddos. I would love to know what your favorite ones are. So let me know down below in the comments what your favorite ones are. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.